Hello, today I'm going to share with you seven reasons I'm choosing to stay in France and not return to the United States to live. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Patricia Brooks. Six years ago, I left my job. I moved to the south of France from Richmond, Virginia, and I haven't looked back since. And I currently help people who are ready to start the next chapter of their lives living in a foreign country, but who, like me, doubted their ability to make it happen and waited a little longer than was necessary because of those doubts. I help them move through that fear, those doubts, and get to the other side of that so that they can start living in the country that they feel best in. And in today's video, I'm going to talk a lot about being in a place that feels like home. This topic, seven reasons why I am deciding to stay in France and not move back to the United States, despite some big inconveniences I've already spoken about in other videos. And I think this will be really interesting for you. Before we do that, I want to share with you that today's a windy day. So you might be hearing some rattling or creaking or groaning in the background. Those are my shutters uh, in response to the windy conditions. So my apologies for that if you do hear that. The other thing I want to share with you about this video is this was a suggestion from a viewer who was curious about well, why why not go back to the United States? What is it about France or what is it about the United States that is keeping you in France and not making you want to move back to the United States? And so I thought, mm, this is a topic that I've been thinking about quite a bit over the last couple of months as I wrap up writing my third book, which explores why I felt so compelled to get to France, the reason I had to get here. And so subjects like this, topics like this, have come up over and over again over the last several weeks. So I'm happy to share this with you. Now, if you're new here, you might not know my whole story. I'm not going to go into depth with that, but I'm going to share why I decided I was going to move to France in the first place on a surface level, not the, the deeper reason, but because I don't want to spoil the book for you, but on a surface level, why I decided uh, it was time for me to move to France. And there were a couple of things at play that made it easier for me to make this decision. Both my parents had passed after my mom died in 2013. I didn't really have a home to go back to. I was living on my own, but over the holidays, I would go and visit my mom in New Jersey. So that was no longer a thing. So that made it easier for the United States to feel less like home to me just from that. But another reason, and perhaps the biggest reason that... I decided I wanted to move to France was because I wanted to become fluent in French, which I'm happy to say I am now. I also enjoy a good challenge. I love to stretch myself. I love to grow personally. And in the United States, I found some things that would challenge me. I lost 75 pounds. I wrote my first book. I started to speak publicly. These were all wonderful things that stretched me and I felt really good in doing, but it seemed like they were short-lived and I was always looking around for the next thing to challenge me. And I thought to myself, Patricia, if you move to a foreign country, one that doesn't speak English, you are going to have challenges galore. And France has not disappointed. So those were the main reasons on a surface level why I wanted to move to France. So why is it that I am choosing to stay in France and not move back to the United States? Well, number one, it feels really good to live here. Now, I've spoken to a lot of people who are looking to make a move abroad. And one of the questions I ask is, well, why do you want to live in a foreign country? Why do you want to move to Europe? Or why do you want to move to France? Why do you want to move to the country you are considering? And a lot of times people say, oh, well, when I'm there, I just feel lighter. There's something about the energy in this place that I want to move to that is different from where I am currently. And 
that's what I'm talking about when I say it just feels good for me to live here in France. Now, this was not a reason that I decided to move to France in the first place because I didn't know that I wasn't necessarily feeling good living where I was. It was something I only recognized once I was out of the United States and living in France that I was like, oh, something's different. I feel I feel better. I feel happier. I feel like I'm able to be my more authentic self than when I was in the United States. And so what I call it now, in hindsight, after having been removed from that environment, is that there was this undercurrent of tension for me as a Black woman living in the United States that I just thought was normal. I'd grown accustomed to it. It's kind of like if you were to ask a fish, oh, how's the water? The fish would look at you and say, (laughs) water, what water? (laughs) Because that's all the fish knows and doesn't know that it's surrounded by water. And that's what I, that's what I'm talking about when I say, oh, that there was this undercurrent of tension that I didn't really recognize was pressing on me in the United States that now that I'm out of that, that I feel so good here in France. So that's reason number one. Number two, it, it feels good to have rights. I am a resident. I am not a citizen. I run my own business here. So I'm self-employed. And even with that, I have the right to health care, health insurance. I have the right to disability if I needed to use it. I'm paying into the system. It's not free, but I have access to that as a resident, not a citizen, and somebody who is self-employed. Now, in the United States, even if you have a job, you might not have access to health care benefits. So... To me, that feels really good. And I remember when I started a business in the United States and I left my job, one of the reasons that I chose to get married at the point that I did was because I was dating somebody, had been for about a year, liked him well enough, thought I loved him, you know, come to find out, yeah, no, that probably wasn't love. But he had a job and I could get on his healthcare benefits. And so That was one of the factors that made me decide, well, yeah, why not go ahead and get married? Well, that was a mistake, but that was the system I was living in and the idea of being without health insurance of something that my parents said, oh, no, you you don't want to ever be without that because that could be catastrophic was a reason that I made this poor decision. So I like having rights, even as somebody who is not uh, a full citizen of, of France. So that's reason number two. Reason number three has to do with when you have seen another way of doing something, another way that seems better or maybe more fair, and you consider going back to a system or a way of doing something that doesn't seem as good or doesn't seem as fair, it's hard to imagine yourself going back there. And that is another reason why I don't want to move back to the United States. And you might say, what things seem better? What things seem fair? Well, the quality of food here is so much better than in the United States. There are regulations that are meant to protect us from eating things that just aren't good for us. Whereas in the United States, while there is the FDA, it's a lot more lax than it is here in France. Another thing is that I think is more fair here is that if you wait tables, you don't have to rely on tips in order to bring home enough money to feed yourself. I remember back in the late 80s, my first job, I waited tables at Denny's and I got paid $1.71 per hour plus tips. And I think the minimum wage at that time was around $3.55 an hour. And so I had to rely on people leaving money on the table after I'd served them and hoping that they left enough for me to get a a living wage or 
a minimum wage at that, maybe not even a living wage. But here in France, that's waiters and waitresses get paid enough so that they can live. And I think that's more fair. Reason number four is, in addition to the fact that I feel good living here, I feel safe living here. The United States has a lot of violence happening, a lot of gun violence happening. And it seems like every day there seems to be a mass shooting or a school shooting. And I don't watch a lot of U.S. news, but it just seems like if I you know, happen to tune in, oh, that day there is a mass shooting. And I know some people who feel afraid to go to the grocery store or to the mall because they don't know if that will be the day that a shooter, a mass shooter, turns up there. I know people in the United States who have children and they're afraid to send their children to school because they don't know if that's the day that their school child's school will be targeted. Here, I don't feel unsafe. I feel safe. Now, France is not without violence, right? There are, you'll hear about attacks of people with knives and they've been deadly attacks. And that's not good. However, typically, they're knife attacks. And so the number of victims is minimized because it's not a gun or it's not an automatic weapon um, like in the United States. So safety was not something that was not a reason that I moved here to France, but it's kind of nice to not have to even see on the news, you know, oh, today, another mass shooting. Oh, yesterday, an- another mass shooting. So safety. Safety is a big one. Now, I've shared a couple of reasons so far. If you're considering moving abroad or if you're already living abroad, can you relate to any of these? Give this video a thumbs up if you can. All right. Now, one of the reasons I said that I wanted to move to France was because I wanted to become fluent in French. And I have, but I'm still in love with the French language. And so I want to continue to improve my language skills. And what better place to do that but by living in France, by staying in France. And I got a really nice compliment from somebody who I was considering going on a date with. Um, We were messaging back and forth in a dating app. And he said, you know what? You write French better than some French people do. And I thought, ah, that is a really high compliment. I worked hard for it, but that is really good. And so I want to go even further. I want to feel more confident in writing and reading and, and speaking this beautiful language. So that's reason number five. Now, reason number six has to do with something I wrote about in book number three, that why it's been so challenging for me to get as far as I have almost complete with this book. It's taken me over three years to get to this point. And that is because as I'm writing this book, I'm living this life. And each day has the possibility of showing me the reason that I had to get to France. And so it's been hard to really sort through that. But that leads into this reason number six as to why I want to stay in France and not move back to the United States is because I haven't experienced everything that I am supposed to experience here yet. I don't have the feeling of completion of, yes, it's time to move on. Yes, it's time to move back to the States. Yes, it's time to move to another country. I have not experienced everything I am meant to experience here. And so... I'm choosing to stay here in France. And I think that is a really beautiful reason because that means that there are so many wonderful things that are waiting for me in the coming year, in the coming years. All right. So reason number six. And finally, reason number seven. I recently did a live stream about home and what is home, what does home mean to you and how do you know if when you choose a country, you're going to feel like that feels like home to you. And 
you know, if you want to check that out, you can check it out up here. I'll put a link to it up there. But for me, France feels like home, right? So why would I leave a place that feels like home to move back to a place that had stopped feeling like home? And now you're trying to go back. It's nice to visit friends, but it's not home. It's not the place I'm thinking about getting back to. I'm thinking about getting back to France when I'm there. And my creative writing teacher, Doug, he would always, the beginning of the start of a new group of sessions, he would always um, say this quote, you can never cross the same river twice because you have changed and the river has changed. And I think that speaks to exactly this. The United States was home for me for 51 years. Now I'm living in France and have had new experiences and have grown and changed as a person. And the U.S. has changed as well. And so my going back to live there, I think, would be quite challenging with the person I've become. So that's the biggest reason of all, is that France is home to me now. And the United States, which served me well for those 51 years, no longer feels that way. And so I want to stay in a place that feels good, where it feels good to have rights, where I think things are fairer and where I can be my authentic self. If you are considering making a move abroad, but you're not really sure where I do have a quiz or a questionnaire that you can download and kind of think through some questions you might not be considering to help you to decide on the country. Because I think Choosing the country that's going to feel most like home to you from the get-go is helpful. You know, sometimes it doesn't happen. But if you think through some of these questions that are on this questionnaire, that could be really helpful to you. So I'm going to put a link to that in the description. Now, you've heard my seven reasons for choosing to stay in France and not move back to the United States. Which one of these reasons makes the most sense to you? Let me know in the comments. This video was the idea of a viewer, as I said earlier, and I welcome your suggestions on other video topics, or maybe I'll do a live stream where you, there can be a question and answer. But if you do have a, an idea for a video, please leave it in the comments and I will see what I can do about making that happen. All right. So hopefully this video has been insightful, has helped you think about things as you are considering a move or as you are already living in your foreign country. If so, be sure to like this video, share it with friends, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.